Watch X Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb next. You found the G spot. X Play is coming up next. Then I'm screened with Martin Sargent at 11:30. Put your damn pants on. We are not doing a stupid Lost in Translation parody. Today on X Play, we get all two dimensional on you in Paper Mario. Samurai warriors looks just like Dynasty warriors, and overprotective parents freak out in Phantom Brave. What were you doing to my child? Just letting him watch X Play. It's game time. This is not a Lost in Translation special. Now, why are we now representing the movie that everyone else does when they come to Japan? Well, because that movie is all about subtlety and character development. Two things we have no concept of here on X Play. But what we do have is a celebrity. Hey! Hi, Mario. How are you? Sorry, much. Sorry, much. Sorry, much. How are you? I'm fine. Mario Tasata, you know my game, Peshkevi. By it, the Khalak. The dinner, mazawakli. Wow, that's great. Okay, the biggest pleasure for us would be if you would introduce the next game because it's Paper Mario. Can you do that? So, daga khura kuna maksad das khabar ada chhe daga McDonald's chhe daga zader khushawam. Khwan dala kai mazara kai. Maksad zade Mario pa khater bande zo dat tasta itariyo dar kaum. Utas tab nevi gemuna pesh kro. Oh, that's great. I love this city. We hate Japan. Well, not really. We're just jealous. Why? Because Japan gets the cool games first. Such is the case with Paper Mario 2: The Thousand Year Door. It's been out in Japan for quite a while, so we thought we'd give you all a look. Known as Mario RPG 2 in Japan, this is one unique role-playing game. It all begins when Mario receives a letter from Princess Peach, who's on an island vacation. Mario, looking to spend some quality time with the little lady, heads on out with a map and tow. And guess what? Everything goes all wrong. This isn't a traditional RPG. Sure, you still have turn-based battles, but the gameplay still has Mario hopping and bopping. The Dayglow throwdowns are anything but passe. Most attacks require razor sharp timing to deliver their maximum impact. If you time it right, you can lay down multiple blows. Sharp timing is also required to perform the brand spanking new counter attacks. Each battle takes place on a stage with a crowd full of bloodthirsty goombas. Impress the crowd, and they'll reward you with a bingo game that can give you a much-needed health boost. In traditional Mario style, you can find items hidden in the levels, or you can go the easy route and buy them in a shop. Either way, they're your best friend in battle. There are plenty of wacky characters, including these guys who look like a hairball that Yoshi coughed up. And just like any other Mario game, there are plenty of boss baddies to fell. The game's paper theme is wrung dry like a pair of tidy whities in Borneo. Check out this flipbook bridge. Good old Mario, mean in the streets and a sliver between the sheets. Well, Japan won't have one up on us Yankees much longer. Paper Mario 2 is set for release at the end of the year. Here in the states.
Mandarake, which translates to... Asload of manga. There are actually dozens of these aisles in this store filled with Japanese comic books that somehow the people here can distinguish between. Yes, the Japanese are obsessed with manga and schoolgirls. And tedious strategy RPGs. And in honor of that, we're doing this review of Phantom Brave. This is for you, Japan. So Bird in a trench coat walks into a bar. He sits down next to a drunk guy with a ponytail. And the drunk guy says, Hey, Persimmon, care for a drink? It's another game so weird it could only be from Nippon Ichi Software. The makers of Disgaea and La Pucelle Tactics now present their strategy RPG opus, Phantom Brave. That isn't nice, Ash. You're too negative. You need to learn to trust people. Another strategy RPG, another spunky heroine. Morona is the star of this old school outing. A young girl orphaned eight years ago and big monsters killed her parents. You'll go no further. For her sake, I will not fail. If only they weren't trapped on the 2D plane, they could dodge to one side and live. <laughs> Pragmatic bodyguard Ash sort of kind of survives as a phantom and sticks around to help Morona out in her new job as a chroma. So, you don't think it's more important for me to make people happy than to make money? She's a bit unclear on the concept when it comes to the business side of chroma work. Morona is known as the possessed by most people, and they're terrified of her. What were you doing to my child? But she's actually a nice, normal girl who does battle with the forces of evil using the powers of phantom warriors. What's not to love? Me thinks he's planning to fight evil with evil. You know, like fire. Verona's not much of a warrior herself. The trick of Phantom Brave is that you can summon phantoms out of various objects scattered around the battlefield. Each item will affect a phantom's stats in certain ways, and items the phantoms equip will further alter their abilities. The phantoms will attack enemies and protect Morona from harm. However, each phantom can only remain active for a limited time, and after a few turns, they'll disappear. With protection like that, who needs endangerment? Hey, it's not so bad. Planning around your phantom's limited lifespan is where much of the strategy comes into play. Back at home base, you can create more phantoms of various types to expand your army and allow for more complex methods of beating the snot out of monsters. You'll also receive C-mail that informs you of your next job. Ah, I'll paddle as fast as my tiny limbs will allow. The real charm of Phantom Brave comes from the surprising amount of freedom and customization available. What other game lets you carry a shrub as your primary weapon? Taste my deadly bush, evil rabbit! They aren't rare, so feel free to kick the crap out of them! The voice acting leaves something to be desired, but you can always switch to Japanese so you don't have to listen to this freak. You will look back and rue this day! Rue! Not as much as I rue the fact that Phantom Brave barely looks better than most PS1 games. The art style is great, but could we step up the resolution in the next game? Maybe? It may not wow the polygon junkies, but Phantom Brave takes some bold risks and succeeds at being an innovative and complex game. Nipponichi continues to have the strategy RPG genre on lockdown. A four out of five. Valiant Phantom, aid me in battle. Sharp truth, kill! Now, just because you like RPGs does not necessarily mean you're going to like Phantom Brave. Yes, it's an acquired taste, like this guy. And like gay male anime porn. Oh. Coming up, bad 80s hair in Samurai Warriors. 1780s hair, I mean. This portion of G4 Tech TV is brought to you by Levi's Jeans, a style for... And it was good. Then there was something entirely different. The new double melt pizza from Domino's. Layer upon layer of cheese and Excuse crust. Excuse me. Do we have to do this every time we order? Why not? Domino's new double melt pizza. Layer upon layer of flavor. With a creamy blend of cheeses and herbs between two thin crusts. Buy your medium one topping double melt pizza for $9.99 and get any second medium for just $5 more. Get the door. It's Domino's new double melt pizza. It will summon you. 
If we challenge you. <laughs> Consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Rated M for Mature. Get off me! Get off me! God! Feel the power of the new Nokia N-Gage QD from Singular. Insane graphics and the latest titles. Get yours at Singular Wireless, rated T for teens. Wow, that is clear. With surround sound, this HD TV would be perfect for your party. Yeah. Hey, you should come. Fourth and 23. Williams rolls out, throws up a prayer. No! Touchdown! Oh, yeah! Yeah! That guy's on my fantasy football team. You know, you should think about TiVo. You can record the game and celebrate later. Watch TV better at Best Buy. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. I hate Adam Sessler. I'd rather suck at a urinal block than play this game. Why does he get to play video games and review video games on our show about video games? Why does he get to spend every day with Morgan Webb? We've got a preview of the hottest new releases. Yeah! <laughs> Obsessed with video games? Watch X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Weeknights at 11. Special life service. Welcome back to X Place. This is not a Laws and Translation parody special. The Japanese culture is steeped in tradition. Yes, you can see it all around you. These vestiges of the great feudal rulers seeped in respect and duty and tradition. Now, a lot of game companies take advantage of this, like Koei. Yeah. And, um, and Koei. Them too. Here's our review of Samurai Warriors. Yeah, I'm gonna get a hot dog. Warriors, come out to play! Warriors! Determination breeds victory! Ninja, please, if there's any breeding to be done, you best have your Jimmy on your helmet before you hit the fields of fury. Samurai Warriors ported to the Xbox promises a few distinctions from its PS2 counterpart. Notably, tighter graphics and less slowdown with the turf is thick with adversaries. You can almost reach out and fill up your sake cup with a bountiful crimson mist that lubricates the organs, as your gleaming skill makes another surgical incision through clouds of nemeses. And at the end of the day, Samurai Warriors is primarily a slash for cash slaughter fest. If you simply navigate the pulsing objectives on the area map and just start wailing on the X button to remove the offending obstacles to victory, you're pretty much deep within the game. You are what you kill, as power-ups, object enhancements, and mysterious bling are generously doled up to your weapon-wielding Japanese action badass. The story mode is historically based and populated with both real and mystical figures from Japan's feudal past. Character relationships get a little convoluted at times, especially when switching between heroes. Hessian hairband lovers seem to generally be an enemy of peace love and hippie bands. Lady of Evil Dracula guy also seems only to want to eat your children, but at times seems like the noble long-haired knight dude here. And this guy, surely squeaking something about the laborer responsible for making his little bandstand to dance on. It's a Yoshi, and a Yoshi we praise. He built the castle in just one day. It is odd, but I am sure of it. Of course, there's the warrior of questionable sexuality guy who swishes lightly but wields a mighty sword. Musket guy looks like a cross between Billy Baldwin and Adrian Brody. He's got a gun, so the Japanese developers naturally needed to make him the most American in voice and style. Please don't be so mad. Poor musket dude. It must be tough to score with the ladies in feudal Japan when you sound like a wise guy from Hollywood High. Great in officer mode allows you to whip up your own legendary butt kicker through a series of training screens. There's no real instruction, so you'll initially be taunted and poorly scored as you learn what it is the game wants you to do. 
Dawn back can be visually satisfying as careful button combos and Musso fueled blood rages can yield entire platoons life free. Take your fatal frag night for a whirl and dole out the pain from an SUV sized vantage point. Environments are particularly bland as is predictable with the graphic expanse of the game space. When characters collide, they often just slide on by in a glitchy, greasy sideways dance. There's nothing X Play loves more than a lot of the old ultra violence, but we'd like to see the title grow up a little. This isn't fair! With a hack and a slash and a nasty little gash, we give it a three out of five. Another way that Samurai Warriors demonstrates Japanese tradition is like many other Japanese games, it's the same damn thing Ko has been putting out for years and years and years. And right now, Samurai Warriors is only on the PS2, so if you have an Xbox and you want to play Samurai Warriors, you can just go buy Dynasty Warriors. All right, now I'm going to go have one of these Japanese hot dogs. I wanted to try this. Hey, my hot dog tastes like spermicide. Coming up! Using a riding crop in Gallop Racer. It's not just for people anymore. Game Boy Advance SP, now only $79.99. real-world testing we do here at Honda Safety Research Center enables us to design products that provide exceptional protection for drivers, passengers, and pedestrians. Because what we learn in here makes a difference out there. out of the ordinary into a crispy, crunchy peanut buttery Butterfinger from Nestle. Why should you switch to DirecTV today? I was really sick of the way my cable company was treating us. We didn't know we had options, so we did nothing for years. Then I got DirecTV. I had digital cable and it was crazy. Only some of the channels were actually digital. With DirecTV service, 100% of the channels are digital. I got my entire DirecTV system for free. It was installed for free and I even got a free DVD player. I didn't have to buy a thing. Have you looked at your cable bill lately? I did. I was paying way too much. With DirecTV, I pay under $40 a month, and I get 125 channels, including my locals. It's better picture, better sound, more channels, and more reliable. It's free installation, and it was cheaper than cable. You don't have to settle. Get it direct. Get free installation and free equipment for up to three rooms through this special television offer. Plus, while supplies last, you'll receive a DVD player free just for subscribing. Pick up the phone and schedule your installation today. Just pick up the phone and do it. If you want to make tons of money on the Internet, then you need a powerful website. Get your very own free website now that features over 50 ebooks ready to sell like hotcakes. Go to freebookwebsite.com now and instantly start selling the hottest ebooks like No Money Down Real Estate, Making Money on eBay, Golf, Internet Wealth, and many more. Over 200 million people online and $47 billion spent last year alone. Cash in on the high profit electronic book explosion right now. Go to freebookwebsite.com and sign up for free in total privacy guaranteed no monthly cost ever get your free website instantly right now no waiting it's all 100 percent totally automatic there's no inventory to buy no selling no order taking no customer service no shipping and no hidden costs go to freebookwebsite.com we call it a cash machine on autopilot but hurry before it's too late you found the g-spot Unscrewed with Martin Sargent's next. <laughs> I've been told that the red circle in the middle of the Japanese flag represents a bouncing ball, which was the original game here in ancient Japan. And I was probably lied to. to X 
place. This is not a Lost in Translation parody special. Now, this is a very special moment from Oregon, because as you may recall, last time we were here, she had a wee problem with the pachinko. Yes, yes, but I've admitted I have a problem, and 12 months and 12 steps later, here we are. We're very proud of all the progress you've Thank made. Thank you. Now, we're going to be talking about a different type of gambling. Horsey gambling. Right, that's a very popular thing in video game form here in Japan. They rarely come over to the States, but we are seeing a version with Gallup Racer 2004. Let's take a look. Where the hell is Morgan? Horse racing, that tarnished bygone pastime which still manages to attract an overweight army of cigar-chewing Hawaiian-shirted single uncle types with the allure of free money. Gallup Racer 2004 seems to be designed for these OTB Einsteins and their endless cross-referencing of the holy nag rag known as the racing form. For most of us, horse racing is a novelty, where bets are placed over such absolute values as the hilarity of a horse's name or some overheard conversation in the bathroom. Gallup Racer is definitely not meant for passive participation. If you're at all familiar with the Gallup series of games, then you know that it boasts a huge statistical depth in terms of horse, track, and jockey stats. It will come as no surprise that this game suffers from the wildly random schizophrenia of many Japanese titles. Between the endless sleep-inducing text screens and cheeky otherworldly weirdness of the jockeys and coaches, this title may be after an audience that just may not exist in this country. I mean, it's not like the bad Hawaiian shirt-wearing race fan is going to line up at Best Buy to pick up this title. At the end of the day, that guy doesn't want to operate the horse. Besides, his sciatic nerve is acting up, so he's really in no shape to ride. As for you and I, the interactivity of the riding segment of the game is about the most fun we're going to have. That is, until you realize the massive amounts of subtlety it takes to win. Your majestic track warden nag's general condition is monitored in the lower left-hand corner. Since horses can't tell you you're riding them wrong or whipping them too much, you'll need to monitor this element constantly in order to win. Races are difficult to win, unless, of course, you're in the surfing text training and negotiation screens. Look how far ahead of the pack I am. In any real-world racing scenario, I'm the winner. Unless, of course, I pull out a gun and shoot the horse, right? Wrong. Enter the game's riding crop, whipping your ass into submission with a shockingly otherworldly come-from-behind victory. And it's not just one horse. Oh, no. It's the whole damn pack. Choosing a goofy character is simply a question of electing a little ambassador to diplomatically visit the endless text elements of the game. Yeah, right, pal. So is lip balm and crack. Your next job will be to choose a trainer. Each one has a different approach and take on coaching. The interactions with your little jockey can cause your eyebrow to reach for the sky at times. Depth is nice for those down with stats, but we can't help thinking that this game may need a therapist. <coughs> Though our Japanese gaming brethren may not agree, we still give it a 2 out of 5. Okay, that's it. I've had it. I've had it. I've had it. I've had it. Well, I said, we were coming back to Japan, what was the deal? No pachinko. And what was happening in there? Playing pachinko. And when it's not going to happen anymore while we're here in a pond. No more pachinko. I don't believe you at all. You have that stuff on I you. I told you I don't have any balls. Coming up, people yell. A lot in the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. Weeknights are about to get freak with the G-Spot. Let's get ready to party. Into the game malicious world of reviews, cheats, and treats. Two hours of G4 Tech TV guaranteed to please. That's good value. Find the G-Spot every weeknight starting at 10, only on G4 Tech TV. To be absolutely sure, I'm getting the lowest prices on electronics. I feel like I need a sign from above. That'll work. At Circuit City, you'll find unbeatable prices guaranteed every day. So you can always leave confident knowing you got the best price. Circuit City.
trade in Tube Slider and get store credit for Mario Sunshine? You want to trade an old game for a new one? <laughs> Electronic stores don't take games seriously. You got to talk to gamers. Yeah, anytime you get tired of a game, trade it in for store credit. You're going to love Mario Sunshine. Nice. For your nearest store, visit ebgames.com. Pre-owned games and equipment at big discounts. If you're serious about games, talk to the gamers at EB Games. This Wednesday, please open up. Queen Latifah. We gotta play the F strings and thinking ain't one of them. Jenny Fallon. All right, you're on. Have you seen your face on the cover? Oh, there's a better picture than oh, that. Oh, shut up. Taxi. Rated PG-13. Opens Wednesday in select theaters everywhere Friday. Watch. Play, win, hyperactive! We have a new online game everyone is talking about. Every weeknight, while you watch X-Play and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent, go online and play hyperactive along with the shows. You can win an iPod Mini and other cool stuff. Go to g4techtv.com slash hyperactive and play along every night with X-Play at 11 and Unscrewed at 11.30. years of fireballs, hurricane kicks, and dragon punches, Capcom delivers a double helping of Hajoken and Street Fighter Anniversary Collection for the PS2. Instead of including all the Street Fighter games and documenting the pounding of the series in the ground over the course of a dozen or more upgrades and spin-offs, Anniversary Collection features Hyper Street Fighter 2, the Anniversary Edition, and Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. Hyper Street Fighter 2 is an attempt to mesh all five games in the Street Fighter 2 series into one. At no point does it try to explain how Capcom managed to make a series out of a single sequel. You can choose not only your character, but up to five versions of that character. This means you can have Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo M Bison fighting original Street Fighter 2 Ryu. A feature like this would have created the ultimate dream matchup in 1994. Now, it's underwhelming to say the least. Not to mention that it'll take a pretty dedicated Street Fighter fan to pick out all the differences between character versions. Sonic Boom! Playing this now really highlights a few glaring flaws, too. The classic Street Fighter 2 AI remains intact, and wow, is it cheap. I especially love it when characters like Blanca here perform charge back moves while walking forward. Urgh, you're making me crazy, DJ. The old hopping trick still works against Zangief, too. Will he ever learn? Oh, well. At least there are some pretty kicking remixes of the old Street Fighter tunes. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is the final installment of the Street Fighter 3 series. Capcom must be afraid of high numbers or something. Third Strike is the better game of the two, and stands up nicely against Guilty Gear as one of the best 2D fighters on the PS2. This gem was overlooked in the arcade, but its silky smooth animation looks good even now. Also included is the old Street Fighter 2 anime movie, available for viewing in its entirety. Almost. The infamous Chun-Li shower sequence is edited, so you don't get to see her butt. Sorry, pervs. The point of the scene remains intact. If you're gonna stop by Chun-Li's place, call first. Street Fighter Anniversary Collection does a good job of bringing the arcade action home, but that's where it stops. Unlike the upcoming Xbox version, PS2 owners get no online play whatsoever, which is a real shame. Without worthy human competition, these games, well, they get old fast. Not a dream collection by any means, but it's a nice trip down the fighting streets of yesteryear. A three out of five. We have a new online game everyone is talking about.
talking about. Every weeknight, while you watch X-Play and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent, go online and play hyperactive along with the shows. You can win an iPod Mini and other cool stuff. Many of you will be playing for months to come. For rules and details, go to g4techtv.com slash hyperactive and play along every night with X-Play at 11 and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent at 1130. You found the G-Spot. I'm screwed with Martin Sarge's next. Coming up tonight, La Chupacabra. Plus, fatty, fatty, fat, fatty, McFatty, Brad Pitt. And our girl gone wired has a son. So whatever thoughts started going through your head, might as well add diaper rash to that. Hey everyone, I'm Laura Swisher. You're watching Unscrewed.